I tie undetectable knots on my braids. The overall look of how braids will appear when you leave the ends loose and here's the knot that's undetectable. So you get the gist, I'm just showing you how I did my hair. So I braided my own hair with the extensions as I'm just showing you here, all the way down to the lengths of my own hair. As you can see, I'm left with three strands. Firstly, I'd like to apologize for the diabolical state of my nails, but please continue to watch the video. <laughs> right, so as you can see with the three strands, I'm taking a smaller piece from one of the strands, very, very small, and tying it around my hand. So I've made a fist, as you can see. There you go, I'm just showing you again. And I'm holding it between my thumb and index finger. Then with the other hand, I'm gonna make a loop. I'm gonna take the end of that strand and push it through the loop. So I should have a smaller loop on top and then I just tighten it as much as possible. I'm gonna do it the second time just to make sure it's very secure. So again, I make the loop and I pull the strands through and just pull it down the length of the plait. So here you can see the tiny, tiny little knot, but to the naked eye, it's very undetectable. If you want to see that again, I suggest you stop, go back and just have a look. But now guys, now we've sealed the ends or tied the ends as you would say, I'm going to show you how I style the ends. I've brushed it out, this is synthetic hair, so it does start to get a bit rough at times. So we're gonna to need to dip it in the water again, but I don't wanna have straight ends, I want to have curly ends. So I'm just gonna show you how I do that after I brush this side very aggressively. <laughs> and as you can see, this is what I'm left with. So I'm gonna be using chunky curlers, the big curlers, firm rods as they're better known, and I'm just gonna curl the loose ends. I'm just gonna stop where the knots stop because I don't wanna dip my own hair into boiling hot water. So I did miss showing you this part of me dipping my hair. I think I got distracted, but these are the results of dipping my hair in the hot water with the curler. Now, just going back to what I said, you don't want to dip your own hair into boiling hot water because it has the same effect as using heating tools or a blow dryer on very high heat, okay? So there you can see I've got quite a big juicy curl and I'm just gonna run my fingers through that because I don't want it to be all clumped together. I just want it to look a bit, you know, zhuzh as it were. So here's the comparison of one side done and one side not done. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other side. So now you can see this is where I'm dipping it into the boiling hot water and as you can see it's very hot from the steam on the jug. So you have to be very careful with this part guys. There I'm just letting the water drain, I'm just dumping it down and just to let you know guys when the hair is hot and it's on the curler the way I'm squeezing it it sets the hair in that shape. Here's the overall look when I'm done. No knots are detected, the ends are loose, and my hair is looking fresh. So now my ends are done, you might wanna see how I managed to do my roots without taking out a single plait. 